Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for January 26th of 2024 is titled Epsilon Tauri, Star with Planet. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of a star. Now we don't often look at pictures of stars because stars are just points of light. And even the largest stars and the nearest stars, except for of course our own sun, really look like a point of light through even the most powerful telescopes. There are only a handful of exceptions where we can actually see some kind of vague structure to the stars. And that's because of the immense distances that are involved. Stars are tremendous far away and in fact much farther away than we believed hundreds and thousands of years ago where we thought they were just out at the edge of our solar system. So when we look at one here we don't see a whole lot. We see the distinct diffraction pattern going through it caused by the telescope optics. So that's not a pattern associated with the star but with the telescope used to observe it. So what is interesting about this star? Well, this star is known to have a planet orbiting it. Now the planet is what we'd call Epsilon Tauri B. And it's a planet similar in many ways to Jupiter, although a little bit bigger, bit bigger, and orbiting much closer to its star. Now Jupiter takes 12 years to orbit our sun. This planet Epsilon Tauri B orbits in about one and a half years. So it's much faster in orbiting, meaning it's much closer to that star in general. Now the star itself is actually a red giant star. So an evolved star, something like our sun or what our sun will turn into billions of years from now when it exhausts its fuel. The outer layers will expand. In this case, they're about 13 times the size of our own sun and about 100 times brighter. But the planet again, still there is very interesting. And we've been discovering a lot of planets outside of our solar system over the last few decades. It wasn't all that long ago that we really didn't know of any planets except the ones within our solar system. We certainly had hints, we saw things that gave us ideas that there could be extra pl other planets out there. But actually being able to detect them was very difficult. And we've now been able to detect many of them primarily through two methods and that is the uh, transit method in which we see the planet pass directly in front of the star and cause its light to dim slightly. This is how we found most of the several thousand planets we now know of that exist. However, Epsilon Tauri B was discovered by a different method and another very common method for finding these. It is what is called radial velocity measurements. Essentially, we cannot see the planet. The planet is not in the picture here. It's there, but it's hidden by the glare of the star. There's no way to be able to pick it out. It's too much fainter and too close to the very bright star. However, what we can do when planets orbit and when a planet orbits a star and we say that it's not exactly correct. The planet and star orbit around a common center of mass. So when the star is much more massive than the planet, it essentially is the planet orbiting the star. But the star is still moving a small amount. When you get bigger planets, you get the star moving a little bit more. And in this case, the star then wobbles. And sometimes it's moving toward us in the orbit and sometimes away from us. And we can measure those shifts by observing the light of the star. And that allows us to determine the planet or planets that are orbiting around the star. We can see that if there is a planet, we can see how the that that motion is mirrored in the motion of the star something that we actually can see, whereas we cannot see the planet. So this is one of the other methods that has been used over the last couple of decades to detect now over 4000 planets that we know of outside of our own solar system. So that was our picture of the day for J January 26th of 2024. It was titled Epsilon Tauri Star with Planet. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.